Here's what you need to know about what is blocking you from your spiritual progress. Let's get into it for the week beginning February 24th, 2020. Hello everyone, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning February 24th, 2020. So in the intro, I was saying that we are now supposed to look at what is holding up our growth, what is keeping us from our higher consciousness, and what's keeping us from remembering who we actually are. The word trauma has been coming up quite a bit. Um, we see this a lot. We've talked about this before. This isn't a new concept. And this might be a week where, remember, these are actually timeless readings, but the week that I put it up, that's when it's time for us to look at it, right? Uh, but you can keep on uh, into the future working on this, of course. But this is a time to really look at what the seed of your issues are, <laughs> right? So if you have any insecurities, if you have patterns, you know, just in life with the kinds of people that you draw in, you know, how you live your life. What do you accept? What do you accept as your truth? You're going to be looking at that this week. And what might happen depends on who you are, what your personality is like, right? But you might be having moments, well, I'm sure of absolute resistance. Absolute resistance because... Who wants to look at that stuff, right? It's painful. We were saying before that it's not okay to treat children a certain way. That still holds true. You need to really evaluate for yourself. If you think that's no big deal, you need to check in because something got shut off within you, right? If you, yeah, they're saying a lot of people, there's just so many disconnections okay so so many disconnections with people that they kind of shut down part of their being almost now we're talking about people i know some of you out there be like will you talk to those of us who are high frequency you need to stop <laughs> okay you need to stop everybody has to come on this journey together and you are no better than anybody else you are them they are you and if you were super ascended you would know that right so what we're talking about here is facing our pain, facing our insecurities, facing, and for some of you guys out there, you know, depends on how deep it goes, but you know, don't be afraid to reach out and get therapy if that's what you might need, right? Or if you want a fresh perspective or, you know, whatever it is, get support, get the support. Because if we don't face the things that we have allowed to define us. If we don't release that pain, if we don't do the work around the trauma, or I've met people who are like, I've spent two years working on my heart chakra. Two years, that's a long time. What did you keep cycling around? What weren't you allowing to flow away? What kept you there? Right? So again, for everybody, it's going to be a different story. <laughs> oh, speaking of heart, I finally got a piece of dioptase. If you followed me for any amount of time, you know I have been <laughs> trying to get a piece of dioptase for forever. So thank you, Secret Stone Lab. I, you know, from Etsy, that's an Etsy shop. Uh, she is in Moscow and got this to me within like a little over two weeks and she had to hand make it. That's amazing. So again, thank you so much. I love this, but this helps with the heart healing. It helps open the heart space. So as things continue to happen, what I feel, and I feel like this is a message for a lot of you out there, no matter what chakra you're trying to work on or what you're trying to release, what your trauma is, there's, yeah, they're saying half done. It gets sort of half done and then more things start to come in and it gets on top of it, right? So you have to, you know, I've been saying this in personal reads, you have to make your spirituality a priority. We get so hung up on the story. We get so hung up in some cases in victimhood. We've talked about that as well. And I'm not talking about actual victims. I'm talking about people who are so afraid that something bad is going to happen 
that they try to, they go into victimhood almost in a way to control. I know that seems weird, but it's like, if I'm already playing dead, you can't harm me, right? Pick back up, get back up, all right? One event or even a whole lifetime worth of events. It no longer needs to keep you down. As a matter of fact, everyone needs to get up, okay? Everybody needs to get up and do whatever it is that you need to do to take care of yourself. I had a very rough day today. I normally get up first thing in the morning and film the weekly. I have been dealing with a migraine for three days. Uh, today I actually was feeling dizzy. And, you know, I knew, I was like, I just need to take a minute. <laughs> I just need to decompress and I need to work on myself a little bit before I can offer anything to anybody else. So I would say that to you as well. Make sure you're taking care of yourself, yes? And as things come up, don't act like you've got it down. Don't go, oh, it's no big deal. And please, you know, try this week to awaken the things that you've become numb to. And I know that's <laughs> like, how am I supposed to do that if I've become numb to it? But, you know, if you've gotten enough feedback, you know it's there. You know it's there and you know it's time to face it and to come through it. I was mentioning personal readings. Of course, I still do them. If you would like to get one with me, they are done via MP3, so there's no time commitment on your part. We can look at that, you know, in a personal reading. I can tune into your energy and, of course, bring in any messages that you need to hear. So we'll go a lot deeper than just the surface level. Although you can ask surface level questions, just be prepared for us to go deeper, <laughs> right? And then we can really start breaking some of those patterns, okay? So personal readings, did I say angelsouls444.com if you want to do that. And of course, a special thank you to all my Patreon supporters. And I do have courses. Uh, all that information is in the description box below. So anything that I can offer here that could be of help, if you want me to do a certain video on something, please, before you leave the suggestion down below, <laughs> check my channel, make sure I haven't already done it because I get that a lot. Where people are like, what's a spiritual death? I have that on my channel. I made a whole video about that. You know, what do repeating numbers mean? I have a couple of videos on that. So there's a library of information there. And yes, the information will be changing. I'm sure we are all growing and evolving. So, you know, as new information comes forward, I will bring it to you. But please let this be a time where you no longer expect an abusive world. You no longer expect to be treated poorly. You no longer expect that you'll never make it. You no longer expect, why are we doing that to ourselves? That's not how this works. We are gonna make it. We are making it. It is already done, <laughs> all right? It is already done. It is in a frequency out there and all we need to do is plug into it, okay? So the thing that is blocking us is hanging on to our traumas. It's not to say that people don't go through stuff, okay? We all do. But when you're taking care of yourself and you're recognizing when you need a minute, right, to yourself and be fair to the other people around you, especially people who care about you and love you, um, especially people you've made commitments to, whether it's in work or friendships or whatever. There's this thing, too. And let's talk about this really quickly before we get onto the cards. There's this thing out there. It's like I'm going through something. I don't need to tell anybody what's going on. And to some extent, that's true. However, if it's like. I don't know, if your love partner is expecting you to meet them out for dinner, right? And you just decided, actually, I had a friend who did this to me. Just um, didn't, she was going through something and didn't let me know what was happening with her. You know, if someone's expecting you and you're trying to work on yourself, bring them in or just say, hey, I got to reschedule or whatever, okay? It's a bit of entitlement, <clears throat> excuse me, it's a bit of entitlement that people go into where we start to shove people out so that we can be by ourselves. It's not exactly what we're talking about here. Yes, you want to take time for yourself, but don't, don't martyr yourself here. Okay. <laughs> Again, that's kind of like playing the victim. Like I can't, I just can't talk to you about it right now. I mean, if you're going through something major, 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 I got you. It might slip your mind. That's cool. But what we're really talking about here is not shutting others out. Okay. Um, yeah. And to clarify on that, if you, you know, take the time if you need to. I just want to clarify here, but make sure people understand I'm just taking a minute for myself. Communicate. Communicate. Because remember, we're trying to have this connection with others. 
And if we're constantly shutting them out and then turning around going, I can't believe I have to go through this by myself, you weren't giving anybody the opportunity to come forward and listen. Now, of course, if you know you have toxic people around you, well then, yeah, you, <laughs> you know my take on that. All right, guys, let's get you some cards here. Remember, this is a time where a lot of ego stuff is coming out. Um, people are fighting. People are at odds with one another. We have to protect the kids. No excuses. I don't care how mad you are. I don't care how right you think you are. Your ego and the need to be right has nothing to do with the kids. Okay? We don't want to traumatize the children. Okay. So we have fluorite learning. We're learning to let go. We're learning what our patterns are. It's all that stuff that we were already talking about. And our path to abundance and freedom and joy and harmony, love, peace, all the good stuff comes from learning what we need to work through. Okay? And I'm going to say too, this is going to be a lot deeper than I think what you're used to, <laughs> right? I think it's going to go a lot deeper, but we're learning about ourselves and we're learning the effects of things like abuse. We're learning the effects of screaming around children. Don't learn the lesson the second time. Don't do that. It's time to learn it right now. Okay. So there's that. Yeah. People really diminish that stuff. Or, you know, if you're a boss and you have employees and you go up to one of your employees and you just try to scapegoat them all the time. It's not harmless. It's not, oh, get over it. You don't get to say that. As a matter of fact, anybody out there who's saying, oh, just get over it when you've been verbally abusive, this isn't your time. Your time is done. Wait for it. Think I'm kidding? Watch for it. Next card. Okay. <laughs> we have rhodochrosite acceptance. So a lot of people get on this track where they're just trying to push something, make something happen, and always judging our worth, our level of success based on who we're with, what our job title is. Listen, you may not be where you want to be in life right now, and that's okay. Rhodochrosite's a very loving crystal. It's a very loving crystal. So love where you are. Accept where you are. If you can't do that, you're not going to move forward. If you're working outside in, not going to work. How many more times do I have to say it? <laughs> Just be where you are. And if somebody wants to come and say, well, look at you, you're not a millionaire, so you're not very good at manifesting. Who said I wanted to be a millionaire, right? I mean, I've known a few millionaires and they don't seem the happiest. As a matter of fact, they come to me for readings. Hi. <laughs> You know, because they're trying to get connected back into their inner world, back into their wisdom, igniting their heart, connecting into their heart space. So there will be people out there who always want to diminish somebody else. But remember, it's all coming from pain. I've seen some of the saddest stuff where people have gotten so triggered and just started to lose it. They started to lose it on people because they felt like a loser. And it makes me wonder where that came from. Why they see themselves as a failure. Why they see themselves as less than. It's a big reason why people explode. It's out of fear. I'm going to be a big loser. I'm, nobody's going to love me. So I have to fight back and show I'm not to be messed with. Right? That time is done. Let it go. Emerald Compassion. Yeah, just like I was saying, you know, when people are going off and having, you know, they seem to be acting out of order here, and it's all from pain and fear. And this is the heart space, too. <laughs> this is getting into that heart space and clearing it. Um, you don't need to spend two years on it, I mean, unless you want to. But um, And there will be comments arguing. Everybody argues about everything, right? Like, oh, sometimes it takes two years. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it does not have to take two years. You can make the decision to release at any moment. But remember, we need to have compassion for ourselves and others, even if they're acting a little crazy. You know what I mean? Of course, keep yourselves safe, but you can see here, it's all about the love and compassion. And, you know, having compassion for the people that um, 
you see as having harmed you. For the longest time, I held on. I had these, uh, I don't know if I've ever told this story, but I had these evil, <laughs> oh, girl. Okay, these evil roommates back when I was in college at Ohio State. They were twins, and one of them wanted to go into, uh, what is it called? You, is it, I don't remember what it was called. Genetic engineering, I think it was, or something. Her, her major had some very specific thing, but she wanted to go into genetic engineering so that she could help rid the world of the less than people, the messed up people. I mean, they were evil, okay? They were like, you know, <laughs> but that's a whole other topic. But I mean, of course she was being, you know, she's like 18 years old and saying this and it makes you wonder like, okay, what kind of house did you grow up in where, I mean, I'm, I'm being very nice. The way she put it was, I can't, I can't, I don't want to put the negative words in here, but it was like she wanted to rid the world of the less smart people and people who she deemed, like she wanted nobody with any disabilities. She wanted to rid the world of all of that. Um, she just didn't want these people to exist. And it was just, I remember when she told me that, I'm like, I can't live with you. Like this, oh my God. And her sister wasn't much better. But I would hang on to resentment towards those two because I could sit here and tell stories all day about the stuff that they, that they would do. I went, I was working three jobs when I was in college and I came home one day and my homework and my books and a major paper I had been working on was just thrown across the living room because they were mad that I left a stack of books by the couch, not in the way, over by the wall, right? Out of the way, I had to go and work a shift and I was gonna come back and work on that homework. And I couldn't do it because they had scattered my paper everywhere. I mean, I held on <laughs> to a lot with those two. And then finally one day I was like, why am I, why, why? They should not be allowed to have that kind of power. But we've had this discussion before. There are a lot of people in this world who think like that, who have that kind of wiring Right? You guys know the word. You know the word. Narcissist. A sociopath, I guess, is like now an outdated term. I don't know. But anyway, you know, they will laugh at you. They will try to diminish you. And it's because they are in pain themselves. And it, it gets into this whole big sort of vortex, I suppose. But the whole point here is to let go of the resentment. I, it took me over a decade to let go of those roommates. And it actually put me on edge about other people because I thought other people could be just as evil. And yeah, you know, <laughs> I've lived a lot of places and I've seen a lot. So here we have fire agate creativity. So this I think is talking about letting go of the resentments like that example I was giving you. So that's an example of letting go of a resentment um, and channeling your energy into something that could help make the world beautiful. And that could just be in your energy. I had a beautiful day last Sunday and it was because I got up, feeling good, letting stuff go, and I had a smile for everybody. <laughs> I had a smile for everybody and it was a gorgeous day. Everything just flowed. So there's a way that we can channel this energy. <coughs> Excuse me, that had been creeping up on me <laughs> throughout this whole video. But anyway, we can channel this into a much more constructive kind of thing. And this can be helping to create very important and much needed change in this world. So fire agate creativity, a lot of times people love to think of themselves. That's the ego consciousness and it's self-preservation. What can you do? It's there. Just be aware of it, right? So people, I think listening to this will say, talk about what my projects are going to be. Talk about blah, 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 blah. You have a bigger project and it's called life. You need to get on board. Okay, <laughs> All right. let's get a color card going here. All right, if I can get the deck. As always, be kind one another. I don't know why people wouldn't want to be kind. I think it feels so good to be kind. Don't you? I don't get it. I don't understand why people, yeah, I do get it. They're telling me right now, it's the pain. It's the pain button. 
Think about, I think I've used this example before, but think about when you're bruised and someone bumps into you. You might yell at them. It's not like you're actually a mean person. It's just you're bruised and you're hurting, right? And you can't be touched. So bear that in mind. All right. So we have silver, be persistent. The number is 27, which reduces to nine. This is a God number. It's a number of completion. It's allowing a lesson to be done and it's saying job well done, right? So part of this silver, be persistent, I think is talking about, hold on, let me get this here. Okay. Yeah. So they're saying that this is all about not giving up on yourself, not losing faith in the world. Try not to lose faith in people. Try to regain the real vision of who someone is. Okay. It's not going to come from the mental body. It's not going to come from the intellect. It's going to come from the heart, but don't give up. All right. And be patient. That's another message that's coming up here. Be very, very patient because uh, for some of you out there who are, if you're experiencing health issues or what have you, it's going to take a minute for you to heal. It's going to take a minute for you to turn things around, but you'll definitely get there. All right. So I think that's good enough. We don't need a 45 minute video this week. <laughs> Leave your comments down below about what you're experiencing this week. We have a good community here and I am sending you all so much love and take care.